So the other day, I found this box of discs and uh, I was interested to see what's on them, if there's anything interesting on there. So I got originally got this box of discs at uh, Weird Stuff Warehouse apparently, um, probably around, I don't know the, the exact year. But probably around 2008 or someplace thereabouts. And uh, I found three discs that were pretty interesting. Um, around 1989, I was actually working on my own desktop publishing system. And these discs are uh, what remains of that system. It actually turns out that I don't really have the code anymore that I used to make most of this stuff work, which is kind of unfortunate. Anyway, I was interested to see what's on these discs. So I got out this floppy system. I put together this floppy system. I know I, I put this together uh, about 10 years ago, 2008, 2009 was a little longer than that. So I have two Alps floppy drives and it's connected to, you know, a pretty long cable, which is convenient for working with Cocos. And then it's attached to the device that I have to read and write floppies, which is a grease weasel. So the next thing that I did was uh, I slurped in these discs and that kind of goes like this. So after going through all the discs and reading them in with the Grease Weasel, um, it's time to take a look at what we got on those discs. So the Grease Weasel uses a disc format called uh, SCP for, I think it's called Super Card Pro. I think that looks like some kind of a Commodore thing. But anyway, it's a raw flux format. And I'm loading up one of those files in the HXC floppy emulator software where we can do some analysis and take a look at what's going on on the disk. So this view here, uh, we actually get a graphical view of what's on the floppy disk where we can even look at the data on the disk, everything like that. Um, and you see a little, little teeny red marks here. There are some minor errors in reading this disk, but there are no CRC errors. So that means that the disk read was good. So there's a different view that we can look at here called the track view. And this again shows all the sectors on the disk and you can look at all the data and whatnot if I scroll. Um, if we go to the track 17, which is the directory track, and we look at sector two, it should be, looks like, uh, RS-DOS formatted disk have a fat table and we have a directory that goes on to directory three and four. So this looks like a Cocoa disk. Okay, so emulators and things don't really know how to use this SCP file very well. So what we can do is we can export this into a couple different formats. So I chose two different formats for this. I exported in IMG, which this is the same thing as a basically DSK file or a JVC file. Uh, it's just the raw data on the sectors. 
and I also exported it as an IMD file. So now I have three different three different copies of this uh, disk. Uh, you know, I did this. For, uh, so now I have three different versions of the same disk, three different file formats, and that should be good enough to preserve them. So the next thing that I did is now I have my IMG files and I want to get some idea of what's on these disks. So I have a quick little shell program here that I ran this one and this will give me an index of what's on these disks if I run this. So I can see that, yeah, this is my Mikey's desktop publishing uh, program, at least what's left of it. So I've recovered this from some old floppies. Now it actually turned out that I looked in my older archive. I already had the original backups of these disks and these are actually copies. But anyway, this was a fun exercise in archiving floppy disks. So I think in the next entry to in my Septandy blog, I'll take a look at what's on some of these disks and we'll actually try to recover some pictures and maybe a document. Bye for now.